Alrighty, hello folks. This is a game <laughs> called Slime Frog. It's uh, supposed to be something a little bit like, uh, like, like Getting Over It or Jump King. This is probably a bit rate killer too, the title screen. Why are, <laughs> why are people saying sussy in the chat? Oh, it's because of my title. <laughs> it's... All right, well, let's just hop into the game. Space or left click to lick. I, you know, I have not been reading the dialogue. My name is Doe, I'll be your guide. I'll lick the guide. So... Huh. I'm sort of, I'm sort of seeing what this is supposed to be like. Just click all over the place. Can't lick the fly. When you're above a platform, try aiming down at it. Oh, that's right. You can lick the ground. I think I'm making pretty good progress. So far, I haven't seen... Oops. You can just, like, keep on clicking, too. I think there's, like, uh, four licks that you can do consecutively. No, I think you just keep going. What? <laughs> that feels like cheating a little bit. Oh, what? Why did it stop? Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with the ceiling. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Hello, Blue Glue and uh, Lillian. Welcome. Welcome to Slime Frog. Rip. Oh, no! Okay, I can kind of... <laughs> I can kind of see how this is supposed to be like... Uh, getting over it or jump style... Wait, jump style? Jump King style game. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. You know what? Fine, I'll take that. Okay, something tells me I'm gonna fall down this. Wow, I seriously thought you'd be better than this. <laughs> okay, I feel like I triggered a prompt that was supposed to happen from when I fell down that. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. How? Ah! If you had organs, they'd look like mashed potatoes right now. Alright. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alright. Perhaps you should get an auto clicker? Uh, I don't think that's gonna help. What? I can jump? I didn't know I could do that. So if I jump and then lick, I don't think that makes a difference to my height. 
Yeah, I'm just triggering prompts like as if I fell down this. All right, all right. Oh my god. Oh, that was kind of lucky to be honest. All right, so now that I've got oh, now that I've got some ceiling licks. I don't know, I have no idea what kind of... Wow. 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 <laughs> I have no idea what... Ah! Like, is that is that intentional? For me to be able to lick the ceiling infinitely? No idea. Oh my god. I think I'm maybe relying on that a little bit too much. Just because it was easy. But if it's anything like getting over it or jump king. Oh! No! <laughs> you very bad. Okay, well, thanks for that. Oh. My god. Yeah, I definitely need to, like, master the mechanics. Get the distance just right. And not do this. No! Uh, whatever, whatever. I'm just... <laughs> I'm already pretty frustrated with this game. I'm not disappointed in myself. Oh. My God. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh! <sighs> All right. <laughs> no! Give me those, give me those infinite ceiling legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That was kind of close. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not gonna do it, but getting over it in scrap mechanic. I already built that. That's something that uh, that's something I already did. Honestly, if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of tired of. It's not even that I'm tired of scrap mechanic. It's just that um, more and more of the things that I had planned to to do with scrap mechanic are no longer possible. It's just let you know fewer and fewer things that were on the to do list. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right then. Okay, 
inch so close, so close to the edge. There we go. Now I think I can uh, do the exact same thing every time. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh! <laughs> I'm not either, okay? I'm not sure what I was going for there either. You dumb snake. Okay, I can just jump up that. That's something that I should keep in mind. Make use of that jump mechanic. This infinite licking, though. Ah! Not sure how I can use that. Or if it's even a good idea to do... To, to try to use it. Whoop! Dang it! <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, okay, okay. Not, not good, not good, not, not, not good! <laughs> Let's jump. This way. Get a little bit of a, a lay of the land. Scope what we're scope what we're doing here. I think maybe if I jump off the ledge, I can grab the skinny section to the left. Just above where I need to go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Jump, grab. Yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Disgusting. Oh my gosh. That's what I get for looking over a chat. Hello, Zachary and Dark Yellow. Oh! Yeah, well, th th thanks for that, Snake. <laughs> I forget the, the snake's name. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay. Definitely getting a better feel for that. Wait.
Let's try something a little bit different here. Yeah, here we go, here we go. No, 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 that's not... You know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it this way. Ah, oh, that's not the way that I wanted to do it! <laughs> I'm so... Uh, I just resort to spamming the click every time. God damn it! Okay, this this section I feel like I can spam the clicks. Oh. What am I doing? What what am I what am I doing? Was this even a good idea to stream this? I don't think so. <laughs> <I'm real laughs> There's so many other games that I could be playing right now. Gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh, my God, I accidentally grabbed the window, <laughs> the title bar of the window. Not a good idea to do when I'm trying to play. Ah! Dude, I can't even get past this one part. I'm getting very used to getting back here, though. I don't know if that's something to be proud of. Ah! Finally! <sighs> oh my gosh, finally, time to fall off from here now. <laughs> gosh darn it. Gosh darn it! I'm just like full concentration mode and man oh, oh! My God. Oh, 
I grabbed I grabbed the the Windows title bar again. <laughs> kind of. Hold on a second. Okay, cool. I can make it full screen so I don't do that. Jump ever so gently towards the edge. Okay. Grab the ledge and ah! Oh! I just need to make contact. <laughs> just need to make contact with that next section. Whoop. All right, that's an uh, easy way to get around. Yeah, there you go. I gotta get the angle just right. Ah, so I don't do that. So I don't do that every freaking time. Gosh. Darn it. Okay. You can tell how much I failed by how <laughs> how used to I uh, I am by what, what am I trying to say? How used how you uh, how easily I can get back to the same spot. You can tell how much I fell down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no. <sighs> I think this is one of those games like I I'm I'm probably not gonna con keep on flying this man it's frustrating I haven't even gotten to the next section but if I make it to the next section maybe I will keep playing it uh, scale of 1 to 10 I it's it's not even it's not even a scale thing it's just I'm better things to, to do with the time that I have oh I mean, the game looked interesting, and uh, certainly cheap on the Steam store. Okay. 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 Back to back back to this point. All right, now. If I just jump, get this ceiling. All right. There we go. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm doing at that part. Distance to next area, 69 meters. I've not been paying attention to what the snake says. Like, not at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Barely saved that one. And then I ruined it. Instantly ruined it. What if you build a suggestive thing in Scrap Mechanic? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Scrap Mechanic is a game that's, like, become less and less and less worth it to play. And, uh... It, 
look, there's there's a lot of things. Like, I might even just give a negative review for Scrap Mechanic on the Steam Store, even though I have 3,000 hours in the game. It's just something that, uh, like, like, look, 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 look. I obviously wouldn't have 3,000 hours in the game if there wasn't something there. There's, there's obviously something there for me to spend 3,000 hours on it. But I think it's a game that's more... How, how, no, wait. What, what am I trying to say? Um, this happens, like, all the time. I don't... I don't exactly come up with the best way to express things right off the bat. But if I give it some thought... Then I, I say exactly what I intended to say. Or, like, correctly is the way to put it. I don't know. Um, if you play Scrap Mechanic, and you like Scrap Mechanic, and it's a 10 out of 10 game for you, congratulations, right? Like, you, you can leave a positive review for Scrap Mechanic, and that that's that. I'm probably the type of player that will go as far as to change my interests just to find a way to play Scrap Mechanic. So there's a lot of, like, you, you've definitely seen me play a lot of creative mode. I tried out survival mode. I, I tried out challenge mode. There's all different types of players that can find their fun in Scrap Mechanic. Um, over the years, though, especially with the way that the community is and the developers specifically, there's less and less types of players that are going to find an interest in the game. Yeah, that's, that's probably the most correct way to say what I was trying to say. Oh my god! Oh! So like, for example, if you saw a lot of the things that uh, that I did with mods and Scrap Mechanic and then you think to yourself, oh, I'm going to get Scrap Mechanic and I'm going to make mods and that's the type of fun that I'm going to have, I would say absolutely not. That's probably the wrong way to be thinking about it. Maybe that was the way to think about it like four years ago, but like definitely don't think about it like that now. That's de It's completely not worth it. Don't spend your money if that's the way that... Uh, if that's the reason why you want to get into Scrap Mechanic, I would highly suggest against that. Don't do that. So the more it develops the things they add, they lose the players that liked it old? No, it's not necessarily a like a new versus old thing. Although it does have something to do with... Um, Like, the developers will specifically work against mods that they don't like in their game. Um, so, if you if you think, like, I, I don't know how else to say it. If you think that uh, you're gonna get into to the game and make mods, it's the same. It doesn't even have to be with mods. It can be with just blueprints on the workshop. If you build something that the developers don't like, they'll find a way to shut it down. And it, it's just a, it's a weird... I think uh, it's just a different philosophy, like a development philosophy. Like some developers will have a completely open market. And if their players, I don't know, d build things that are completely unexpected or outside of even what the developers wanted for their game, that's technically a good thing because that means more players for their game. Uh, Axolot is 100% the opposite. Where if you're doing something that they personally don't like for their game, they'll be against it. And I don't think that they actually realize how much that shuts down the, the potential player base for their game. So, like what I, you know, going off what I said earlier, how like... I'm the type of player that will have many different facets to try to have fun with the game. Because, like, I'll, I'll do all kinds of things 
including making mods, including challenge mode, including like all kinds of different. I'm not just a. I'm not one of those players that just has like one type of fun. I'll just like hop from one thing to another, even try to make my own fun. Uh, so that's that's generally the main reason why I have 3,000 hours in the game, whereas other players can only get like a hundred hours in the game without, you know, before they get bored of it. Wait, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying earlier. That uh, like, there's just less and less ways to have fun with the game. It, it's not because of. It has nothing to do with old versus new. It has more to do with the the developers actively trying to shut down things that they don't like in their game. And I think uh, the community as a whole. Like, I've definitely said the Scrap Mechanic community is a very toxic community. Which doesn't even make sense. Um... Let's see, how, how do I describe that? Okay, remember remember what I said about, like, you might be a type of player that has, like, your, you know, if you, if you think the game is fun, 10 out of 10 game, then congratulations, like, you can leave a positive review. That's, um... For a player like me that, like, wants to have, you know, as many different facets of fun, uh, like, different types of fun with the game as possible... Uh, that's that's kind of like a very narrow focus like a narrow viewpoint in in my eyes there are lots of other players that have like a very narrow view of what scrap mechanic even is that doesn't mean that I don't like the game it's the same part part of what makes the the scrap mechanic community very toxic is like what I said about if you think that you're gonna get uh, get into the game and like make mods don't I highly suggest against that because Ever since mods were popularized by people like me, there has been other people in the community that wants to more or less control the process of mods in the community. And that's what the modding guild is. It's quite literally, it's quite literally politics in, in a game and politics in anything just makes it so much worse. It's not a free open place for you to do, you know, express your ideas. It's very controlled and, like I said earlier, like if the developers don't personally don't like something, they'll shut it down. Ah! But, um... God, what was I even talking about? Oh, okay, so like... I, I've keep in mind the, the the viewpoint that I said like if you think scrap mechanic is a, a 10 out of 10 game like congratulations you can leave a positive review keep that in mind because one big problem with the scrap mechanic community what makes it very very toxic is that uh, there's a lot of there's some players that think it's like a 10 out of 10 game and they also worship the developers for it they're I've definitely called them Axolot fanboys. So if there is any other kind of viewpoint where you think like, oh, this small thing could be better in the game, then those fanboys are literally going to start hating you. They're literally going to, like, <sighs> spam and troll everything that you're working on. They're going to leave hate comments on, on the stuff that you post on the workshop. It's... Just some of the most... It's probably the most toxic community that I've ever been a part of. And it's all based on this idea that the way that they see the game is 100% correct and accurate. And even if you try to suggest that something is could be slightly better, somehow they interpret that as hate. That, that you somehow hate the game. And... 
they're going to react as if you're hate as if you're insulting the game that they cherish so much that you're insulting the developers that they worship like it's absolutely ridiculous there isn't an option between 0% and 100%. Like, you, you, there's no conversation to be had either. You're either worshipping the developers or you're a hater. So, someone like me that tries to have all different kinds of fun in the game, I can't suggest things to... Like, I like to make mods for games, but I can't suggest something to developers to make my job easier as a mod maker to provide content for their game because that's interpreted as hate. So it's one of the... <laughs> it's one of the most um, ass-backwards way of, like, having a, a game community. And the thing is, the, the developers actually promote this sort of thing. Like, they actually... <sighs> what, what's, the, what's the way to, to phrase it? They prefer to have these fanboys in their community, right? Like, all of this stems from the developers themselves having this very narrow viewpoint of what their game is supposed to be and what their community is supposed to be. So, that's why overall I say, like, if Scrap Mechanic's already a 10 out of 10 game for you, then congratulations. Have fun with it. Have all the fun with it that you can, because that's, you know, it's good for you. I'm not saying that... Scrap Mechanic's a bad game. In fact, I, I, I think it has a lot of potential. Ugh. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Ugh. A game which is like Scrap Mechanic is called Stormworks Build and Rescue. I mean, like I said, there's lots of potential in the game Scrap Mechanic. And like, I want to... I want to invest my efforts into the game. But there's very little point in doing, you know, making mods and the stuff that I want to make for the game if I'm just going to be working against the developers and their fanboys. So like that's why ultimately my recommendation for the game that I spent 3000 hours on I say don't don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. Pay attention to what the game actually is. Ignore all the mods that there are. Don't buy into Look, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus either. But there's de you can tell who's a fanboy just by... Uh, you know, I'm going to throw someone under the bus, actually. Because <laughs> uh, there's a, a, one of the new newer mods that I see on the workshop is the Sticky Wheels mod, which is basically wheels that will thrust down into the surface that you're driving on. But they're made to look like the Sticky Wheels that are going to be coming up in the Chapter 2 update. That isn't what a real mod maker would do, and it's 100% playing on the hype that Axolot wants them to play up. They, they, they want to play up the hype of the upcoming update, and it has nothing to do with what would be a well-designed mod for like that one that makes people want to play the game for many more hours to come. It's just. It's just playing up the hype for the upcoming chapter. It's literally nothing else other than that. You can just put downwards thrusters on your vehicle. Like, there's no difference between that and the mod that, that that's there. It's not the actual sticky wheels that's coming up. It's... It's just a play... It, it, it's... <sighs> I don't know if that's, um... Like, I don't want to call it a scam, because it's not a scam at all. But it's definitely, like, you know, you, you, it's not clickbait either, it's like...
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just playing up the hype of the upcoming chapter update. But like, to you as a player, you might as well just put down-facing thrusters on your vehicle. Like, there's no difference. Functionally, there's no difference. No if I think Pixel made them before they released that sneak peek. What? No. The, the, the mod on the workshop? That's relatively new. The sneak peek is... Gosh, maybe almost a year old? More? I don't think... I, I don't... I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to fact check that either. It, it doesn't change the fact that it's um literally just playing up on... Uh, oh my god. It doesn't change the fact that it's just playing up the hype of the Chapter 2 update. Because... I'm talking about... Um, oh. How I'm calling him out is that he's basically just a fanboy. He's one of those people that will argue at length about the design of a mod without... Okay, I use the I use the phrase real mod maker in my earlier sentences and I think the the way to describe it is like I've always tried to make my mods uh for it, ultimately, it's for the game, like for the game's popularity, it's going to be a good thing for the game. But it focuses on the reasons why people play the game. Like, the, the fun that people actually have. There's... W when I see a mod like that Sticky Wheels thing, it completely puts aside... the entire purpose for the mod existing. It's not a real mod, it's... it's... It's more of something to just clickbait on a YouTube thumbnail. To be like, whoa, I've got sticky wheels and scrap me, but like, it's not. It, it's not. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe if I do like. Uh. Anyway, that's just, like, what I just described is, like, a, a very small portion of the larger scope of all of the problems with uh, the game's community and how the developers create opportunity for more fanboys, but, like, make things worse and worse for anyone who's trying to put in an effort to, to do anything else outside of the vision that they had for their game and their community. Dr. Pixaplay literally made the mod and a video making it because of the hype and for the fun, not for the functionality. I don't think he even hide the fact that it's basically pointless. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Look, I'm not... I'm not trying to insult anyone there with that. What I'm talking about is the politics of Scrap Mechanic that make the game and community... Like, they, it just makes it not worth it for people to get into. I don't think that Doxer Pixel Plays is a bad person in any way, and I don't think that... it. Does, frankly, the intention to clickbait, like, play up the hype or something like that, that technically doesn't even matter. What I'm talking about is more of the, like, encompassing, over-encompassing issue of how that's more or less the only thing that you can do now as a mod maker is to do to do that to basically please the developers of the game but if you were to do something that develops like a new mechanic in the game like how i designed number logic you're going to get a lot of people that will fight against that 
<laughs> solely for the reason that it's out outside of what the developers had envisioned for their game. But that's, like, statistically speaking, just filtering out their, their target audience. It that you, like you don't even have to like number logic. You don't even have to play with it. Like there's definitely many other ways to to have fun with the game. But like that was also that was also kind of a, like a, a a problem with like even uh, multiplayer Monday, where <clears throat> if I were to suggest like or build something that was supposed to show how scrap mechanic could be fun. Like, like, like an entire, um, a multiplayer Monday idea that, like, I designed and I built using the mod pack parts and things like that. There was always some kind of a conversation about how it was all for the purpose of promoting my mod, which it wasn't. It was for the purpose of showing how people can have fun with the game. Which, like, yeah, I did use my mod for that, but... No, it has very little to do with... It's, it's such a toxic community, man. Yeah, nothing like it used to be. It, like, the turning point was 2019-2020. Where things are just, like, getting worse and worse. In all of those ways that I described, like, things are just getting way worse. Also, Durf, if you need another game to play, then get Astroneer. I have Astroneer. It's, it's a pretty cool game. I don't think original things are fun. I want to play new things that Axolot wouldn't do. Yeah, so that's why I was saying, like, it, you know, ultimately I might just give uh, at the, the game, like, a negative review. Because, well, I, <clears throat> for all of the reasons that, like, people would get into the game before, they don't exist like they used to. And it's, uh, it, it, it's right now in a state full of politics where, like, you think you can, but then as soon as you try, you're going to find out you can't. So, I would just ultimately say, just wait until the game's out of early access. Then see if that state of the game is what you would have fun with, and make your decision then. Don't waste your time trying to purchase the game now and be like, and, and you know, you shouldn't have to try so hard to have fun. That's basic, that, that's like, if I could describe the, the problem with Scrap Mechanic, that's it. That one sentence, you shouldn't have to try so hard just to have fun. And that sort of- oh, that was a very lucky jump. That sort of, like, coincides with, uh, why I'm not making mods anymore, is just... My gosh, the guild of mod makers was one of the worst things ever. But, like, I'm sure you guys, uh, have seen, like, the mod pack- oops, the mod pack on the workshop is, like, in a weird state right now, and there's the- the mod pack continuation. That was basically the, uh... So, that basically happened because... people that contributed to my mod, like, my designs, they felt that because they wrote the scripts for some of the, the number logic parts, ideas that I came up with, they somehow felt this, like, ownership over it. So, there was sometimes an argument over the design of stuff. So, I, you know, I would say something like, okay, well, you can design your own parts in your own mod. Like, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to it doesn't make- it, it really didn't make any sense. But basically... It, it- again, it got very political, so like... Um... 
when they 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 actually approached me and they they said like we're gonna create a guild of mod makers and I told them outright that that's a terrible idea. But it's something that you're gonna see in a lot of games, a lot of online communities. You're gonna see some person try to get very political with it and try to control the the community in some way. Even if it's just so that they have like some personal sense of like power or authority in the game that they play, which is like, you couldn't be more pathetic if you're doing that. But it was basically a few of the uh, of the the people that contributed to the mod pack that sort of got that they you know they got high off of the 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 feeling that they got of working on the most popular mod on the workshop and then they basically felt a sense of ownership over it because they contributed some stuff to it which is silly because they call the 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 reupload of the mod pack which they did without permission by the way but it's not, it's not even worth getting into that they call it the mod pack continuation but like all they did was effectively stop the development of the mod pack and the, all of the new parts that I had planned, like we were going down the list to, to make some number logic stuff. Again, all my design, they didn't have any idea of what I had planned for that. But uh, yeah, they effectively, effectively just stopped the development of number logic stuff. And it's strange that it's called the mod pack continuation if it's not being continued in any way. Like where where are the new parts, right? Like they they're not making it because they don't know about it. They don't know how to actually <laughs> whatever. It's not it's not worth getting into cuz Oh. So that's the reason. Well, yeah, ultimately, ultimately, the reason is just because I told because they were the ones that wanted to create a guild of mod makers, which is just the politics of any online community. Like you're going to see somebody that's going to try to control, you know, who's allowed to be a mod maker, which is one of the dumbest things for any community. And I told them that outright, like it's a terrible idea. Don't do that to the games community. But ultimately, they wanted to do it anyway. So. The whole re-uploading the mod pack without permission is more or less a way to force somebody out of the guild. And I'll, I'll, again, ultimately just because I said no, that's a terrible idea, I'm not going to be a part of the guild. Wait, the mod pack continuation, it's not the mod pack. It is the mod pack, it's just they they basically took the mod pack, re-uploaded it without permission. And there there's a lot of stuff that like went on behind the scenes. And they changed some of the uh, 3D models and stuff to like Ugh. Okay, cuz like there's technically uh like a a, a an agreement on the Steam Workshop where, like, you can't upload copyrighted content. So they did change some of the 3D models in order to pretend like, you know, what they did was okay. Because as long as they changed all the stuff that I made, like, again, you got you got to understand this in the context of contributors to somebody else's mod. So if I'm, you know, if I go to you, if somebody, if you. How do I even describe this? If somebody offers to help you on a mod, they don't have any idea what the mod is supposed to be, so you have to tell them what to do. Like, okay, we need scripts for this, we need a 3D model for this, and you're basically explaining the idea to them. But then there's the conversation about, like, the content that's uploaded to the Steam Workshop. For example, 3D models that I made some of those were replaced with 3D models that they made. And that's more or less the, the concept of avoiding a, like a copyright issue on the Steam Workshop. Except that they didn't actually do that. There's still some of my copyrighted material 
in the mod pack continuation, so like there's still a copyright issue on the Steam Workshop. Not to mention that that's not even that's not even the full issue because intellectual property rights, IP rights, is probably one of the biggest issues. Uh, like it's the reason it's the reason why Pepsi is called Pepsi and Coca Cola is called Coca Cola, even though you can you know argue in a courtroom that like technically they're the same thing. They're not, and they have to have different formulas. They have to have different quote-unquote copyrights to be able to have different intellectual property rights. Distribution rights is a different thing, too. Like, it, there's so many... The, the, the long story short is that they really don't even know what they're doing. That's dumb derf, so if you had a script and you put a copyright on it, then they will take it off and delete the code. Um... Okay, so... That's part of the issue about why uh, some of these... Some of the mod pack contributors even, even tried to do this in the first place. Is because they wrote... Oh my god. Oh my god, that was very lucky. They wrote... The... Uh, the script for the number logic parts. But that was all, and I actually paid them to help out with the mod pack. Like, I paid the, the mod pack contributors for writing those scripts. So, when you, you know, when you think about it like that, think about it like as if you were an engineer hired by a major tech company to write a part of code for a program. Does that mean all of a sudden you own the, all the rights to the program? Can you just give the program out for free? If it's uh, if it's being sold, like you can't, you, it, it just because you contributed something to somebody else's mod doesn't mean you all of a sudden own the, the thing that you even wrote. It's uh, so like technically speaking, the the person that wrote the scripts has the copyrights for the things that they wrote. You're always gonna have the copyrights for the things that you write. But that doesn't mean that they have distribution rights, even to that material that they wrote. They can do whatever they want with their copyrighted material, but they technically can't redistribute it. It's, uh, it's part of the... I think another way to think about it is like, let's say that you worked for Microsoft or Adobe, and you wrote part of, uh, you know, part of their major software. You can't just quit your job and then all of a sudden, you know, rewrite that same code or even just take the code for another product, a competitor, for example, because that's like a trade secret sort of thing. So, like, that would be a reason for the, the company to ultimately sue you for everything that you own. Because, like, that's an incredible amount of damage in the marketplace that's supposed to be a free market. Dang, you paid them, that sucks, and then they backstabbed you. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, like, ultimately, that's why I'm, like, not even making mods anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on some of the other stuff, like I was just playing challenge mode. Sorry, I gotta apologize. I'm sorry to the, uh, developer of Slime Frog here. We're just talking about scrap mechanic in this game. <laughs> I don't know the details, but is there an argument that you paid them for their work and the rights to the code? I am never going to have copyrights to something that I didn't create. I'm pretty sure that's the way that the law is for several countries. Oh, I was up there. Oh, so they took your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they basically that's what the the mod pack reuploaded is. So, 
there was like <clears throat> I did email Axelot directly about the issue and uh, Axelot basically responded with uh, extortion the developers of the game basically said that if I wanted a professional relationship with the game's developers then I shouldn't be calling them stupid in my videos and live streams except that that never happened I never insulted the developers like that in any of my videos or live streams so I don't know where they got that idea from it just seems like that they've made that up on the spot to more or less try to hold something over me which I, like again is just more part of the toxic politics political situation with uh, with the game and like what I said earlier about how it's either 0% or 100%. Like, you, you, there's there's no in-between. You can't even suggest that a part of the game could be better because that's somehow interpreted as hate or, like, an insult to the developers, right? Like, how dare you not already worship the developers for the game that they made? So, yeah. Developers of Scrap Mechanic, uh doing extortion for YouTubers just making content. Extortion for something that doesn't even exist. Like, even if it did, it would still be extortion. Even if I had insulted Axelot, they would still be holding that over me to have a professional relationship with them. But because that doesn't even exist, it's even worse. I think it's because you speak badly about the decisions of the studio. Okay, so... Nitriel? Nitriel? Let's assume that that's even true, what you said. 100% true that I speak badly about the decisions. It's still extortion. Like, it, to hold that over a, a YouTuber... And as your deciding factor of whether or not you're even gonna include them in your community or whatever. Or if you're gonna help them or make their job even harder for them. Like, that's just extortion. No other way to, 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 to slice that cake. But in terms of the decisions of the community, uh, of the studio, yeah, I'll, I'll openly say they make terrible decisions, and there should be some kind... <sighs> it's not... Okay, look, 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 look. One example is the design of the program that they're making, the, the, the computer software that they're making. So, if you're not a mod maker, you're not really going to understand the implications of this. This is, this is part of the problem too, is like, I shouldn't have to teach Axolot how to program. I sh it, my content on YouTube doesn't have to be a programming tutorial for Axolot. So, the fact that it's gotten to this point where like, I have to explain things in a way that makes it so obvious for them to understand how they're the ones that are making a mistake is ridiculous. They could just hire somebody that knows how to do this and not have problems. It's one of the silliest things ever. So like, that ultimately is already the bad decision, but... I think, uh... I think an easy example to, to explain to people is the structure of the game, even if you're not a mod... If you're not a mod maker or you haven't like uh, gone through the game files or something like that, you are probably going to have a hard time understanding. Even if you're not a programmer, oh, gosh darn it. See, like it, it's, it's very difficult trying to talk about the decisions that the, the game studio makes if you don't if you're not able to see what I'm even talking about, it's kind of strange to, to phrase it that way. But yeah, one example... Uh, one example is... how the game basically treats uh, creative mode, challenge mode, and survival mode as three separate games within the, the overall game called Scrap Mechanic. 
it's the same sort of way how the like the tile editor and the world builder are like different programs and not part of the same program but whatever that that actually makes a little bit more sense than what I'm going to be talking about but yeah if you see like if you played creative mode you probably wondered why uh, why there's not like all the challenge parts available in the inventory for you to play with in creative mode or why the survival parts aren't there in creative mode for you to build with and that's because there's three separate inventories for parts it's not a single inventory it's actually just like three separate they're in separate folders even so Uh, the bad decision for the studio would be the design of structuring their their computer program like that um, where instead the developers themselves would save time and money and a lot of effort if it was just a single database of parts like all the parts in the game in a single database and then if the developers really, really wanted to limit what parts are in which game mode, then it's incredibly easy to just put a filter on that one database. So they never have to work with three separate databases trying to juggle things around. And it ends up being far less work for the programmers that actually have to deal with this stuff. Right? So like that's, that's what I'm talking about when the game studio makes a bad decision it has nothing to do like ultimately it's for the game itself to do better it shouldn't it, it drives me nuts that there's a bunch of fanboys and the developers themselves interpret it like I'm insulting them it's ridiculous and so like that's why I'm saying like if they had any real programmers on their team they would have structured structured things properly so that it's like not as much work for them to develop their own game yeah i never understood why they didn't give access to all the blocks in a freaking sandbox game that so what you're talking about right there is a, is a like a incredibly important point about well it's it's kind of what i said earlier like they have this weird idea of what their game is supposed to be like so Ultimately, the designs are going to be not what a sandbox game is, and that's why that's why I'm saying like ultimately I'm probably just gonna be giving a negative review for scrap mechanic and you should wait until the game is out of early access to make your decision about it and Then decide if it's a good you know if it if the game's gonna be fun for you Why don't you just take back ownership of your mod derf? That's not that's really not the issue and it's not gonna prevent like I I think you're forgetting that I already tried to email the developers about this and the way that they responded was to completely ignore the issue that's on their Steam Workshop and just extort a YouTuber for something that didn't even happen anyway. So ultimately it's not going to it's not going to change anything. What I was actually planning some of you oh my gosh. Some of you might have already seen it. Uh, which is the scrapmechanicmods.com website. I was developing that to be a a single database, database, um, and also like to host blueprints and stuff. So there was supposed to be like a bunch of useful tools on that, like um, like you know, with that website that has a database of every part that ever exists in the game, then players wouldn't have to worry about in you know. Uh, Registering which mods were used in blueprints players literally don't have to worry about that at all Because if the website has a database of every part that ever exists and the blueprint is literally a list of parts and Coordinates of how it was put together then the blueprint itself is the list of parts that are used so like that's that's one of the things that I was um Designing like the the experience that players have could be much better for scrap mechanic I mean, that's always what I've been doing with the mod pack and, and my projects, so... Uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's sort of, you know, one example of how the website was going to be making the, the player experience better. And that's also part of the issue, part of the politics of Scrap Mechanic, is that 
the 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 guild of mod makers would ultimately lose control of the mod that they took so like that was going to be the way of uh, that that I would enforce ownership because uh, mod makers would be in charge of their designs right even if contributors uh, provided a 3d model or a script that's just an asset for the design so it would be a lot easier for for people to manage ultimately what is their intellectual property and for contributors to manage ultimately what is their copyrights and if uh you know, if people change their mind or whatever, I would be, uh, I was programming the website in a way to, like, make that easy for everyone. Even if there's disagreements between, um, you know, who owns the idea and who owns the asset, there would be a way to, um, you know, deal with that. Oh. All right, let's actually let's actually try this out. Try to get up there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Would the website have a manager slash injector thing so that mods could be added seamlessly for those who dislike rooting around in the folders? Um, so part of, um, yeah, actually, uh, you might actually still be able to see it if you go to scrapmechanicmods.com slash parts2, that's the, that's the URL, you, you'd see something that was the start of a mod pack builder. Uh, with the parts that are already in the database there. So you can just search for parts from the existing database, which isn't that many parts. It's literally just the mod pack parts and uh, the new polygons. But yeah, the idea was that you just search for whatever parts that you want, uh, which is another part of why the design of the website is a better way to handle mods and scrap mechanic, because currently there's no search and filter for anything in the game. Other than that, other than the, the 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 name of the actual part itself, um, so if you're a mod maker and you create a part, uh, t search tags, the title of the part, the description of the part, but more more importantly, search tags would be like uh, a, a a much better used thing. It would actually be important for. Oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> So, for example, if you've ever tried playing Scrap Mechanic and you try to search for the mini pipes in the game, you'll see that the the mini pipes aren't actually called mini pipes, and you have to search pipe in, in the search bar to actually pull up all of the pipes. So, to get around that, the mini pipes could just have a search tag called mini pipe, right? Like, there's I, I don't have to explain how search tags can improve searching and filtering in the game. Like, that's that's sort of like one of the basics of any kind of database design. But anyway, uh, the, 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 the mod pack generator thing was going to be a way to generate a file mod to be exactly like, you just basically get a, a single zip file and then you uh, install it into the game like any other file mod. And it would be, you know, it would inject "Quote unquote," inject all of the parts in uh, at least in creative mode, but like it could be made to do it for every game mode. The idea was to be able to select which parts you wanted. It, so no, no, it, it's kind of difficult to explain. The idea is a heck of a lot more than just one thing. I actually put in a lot of time and effort into properly designing the 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 purpose for the website. In the same, okay. The best example that I have to compare this is the design, like the effort that I put into designing number logic in the game. Ah! Uh, uh, 
So like for for a sandbox game, the parts that are used is kind of kind of make or break for the game. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, I, I, I put in a lot of thought. Okay, may, before I even made number logic, before I even came up with the design for the number logic parts, it was, uh, like, I had to put in, I had to think about what. Okay, because like, you might even have the question of like, why is the exometer the exometer and not part of the math block? Like, why aren't why aren't some of those functions? Why is that a different part? and not the same part. So like, designing that properly so that each component adds to, you know, adds as much gameplay as possible, as as much hours to play the game as possible, to add as much possibility as possible. Like you guys might've seen the sneak peek for the, the upcoming turret seat. Um, and that's literally like it's just a camera controlled seat, but like you can build that with number logic And that was more or less the whole point was to have more possibilities for for players to actually just build stuff Like that's the the entire point of spending the effort to properly design the components in a sandbox game To give players all the possibilities with as few parts as possible. So anyway, uh, Blue Flame, to answer your question about the website, the design put into the website, like, to answer your question, yes, the idea was to be able to select which parts you wanted, but no, that's just a result, like, that's one of the many, many results of a good design for how to handle a, a huge database of parts. Like, another way, another way to answer the same question is what I said earlier about blueprints, where let's say you get a blueprint, and you don't know which mods that it needs. You can literally just ask the website, hey, give me the mod, you know, the list of parts, and you can spit out exactly the list of parts that you need to play with that blueprint. It's, it's, uh, it's just a, a better way to handle the concept of the components of a game called Scrap Mechanic. Durf, you've spent one hour on this level. I, dude, I haven't even gotten close to the next area. Will you make a way to add your future ideas for the mod, or will you just give it up on it, Durf? Well, see, that's what I was sort of waiting on the Chapter 2 update to see, like... Just to see if it was worth doing. So far from what I've seen from the Scrap Mechanic community, like, the, the Scrap Mechanic community itself has just gotten even more toxic since it all started in, like, 2019-2020. You might have even seen it in my live streams where, you know, people literally say, Oh, Durf, come back to modding and make everything worse again. Like, why? You know, what did I ever do to them? <laughs> it's, it's just an incredibly hateful place. So, like, it, there's just... There's no point. There, so... And especially if I have to work against... Oh my gosh. Especially if I have to work against the developers of the game, it's, like, even more not worth it, you know? So I was just waiting for the Chapter 2 update to see if it was worth it. To spend the time and effort for somebody else's game, right? Like if the developers are going to think that I'm just working against them uh, by making a website like this, it, if I have to fight them every step of the way to make something good for their game, it's kind of weird. It's kind of, it's just, it's, it's backwards. It doesn't make any sense. So uh, currently, I don't know if I'm going to give up on it. Oh my god, I had it. 
Gosh, I'm an idiot. It, it really just all comes back to, like, if the game is going to be as political as it currently is with the with the guild of mod makers, then there's it's not worth it for any anyone coming into the game and you think that you're going to be, like, a, a mod maker, you think you're going to create content for the game. Don't. Get that idea out of your head, because the guild of mod makers has to approve of you. You know, you have to be accepted by the guild. It's, it's one of the dumbest things for any community to have. And, like, I, you know, I can't help but think that it's, uh, it's just because that they personally wanted to be the, you know, the guy that made all the fun mods. And so then they somehow think that they can, like, take somebody else's mod and pretend it's theirs. That that somehow is going to give them the ability to, to make good mods or something. Like, it, it makes no sense. It's incredibly childish and just kind of ruins the community. It sounds like this guild is more like a cult. Well, yeah, yeah, they, it, you should think it, like, the, the words are synonymous with each other. You can just... Uh, 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 that's that's what a guild is for it, the, the the whole guild thing has been around in online games for you know since online gaming has been a thing and because for any online community it's like a, a social structure um so basically if people form a band to get like they just band together they form a guild technically it's better for everyone in that guild and they can very e like if if you they can control the community itself, then they don't have to. Uh, they don't have to worry about anyone new coming around, to you know I don't know. Like I said, like it, it, it's it, it feels like that they you know wanted to to be the guy that with the with the most popular mod, but without actually doing any work towards designing uh, an experience for the players to play, right? Like, the, the entire reason why my mod was popular in the first place was because I designed it for players. And it has nothing to do with... Like, I, I was not at all motivated to be the most popular mod in Scrap Mechanic. I literally couldn't care less about that. My mod can be the worst popular for all I care. But, like, the, the reasons are the same. If you... If your focus is to create a good experience for players, then ultimately it's going to end up being very popular. Because that it, it does things for players. You know what I mean? But like you can tell you can tell by how I talk <laughs> about people <laughs> that I really don't care to be popular. I really don't care for my mod to be popular. Popularity is not one of my motivators. It was more of the opportunity that I see this game to have, and like the opportunity that I... Like, I, I, I can see the design in my head, and so might as well create it. It's the same reason why I made the website, like I can see the opportunity there for the tool to exist, for players to have more fun with the game. Ugh. I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The, the the politics of Scrap Mechanic can just be summarized as... Some people want to be in that position, but, like, don't want to do the things to actually get to that position. So, by banning together in a guild, they can fake it, I guess, is one way to put it. They can control... Oh, yep, yep. Hold on a second. There we go. I changed the DPI on my mouse by mistake. <laughs> Me sitting in the guild discord with guild master role, like, yeah, I somehow got roped into this. Blue Flame, it's literally, it's literally just the more people that they can get together on, on their side for... It's just a control thing. It's literally politics. Like, you don't even have to have a good idea.
I can pretty much guarantee you that the conversations in there are not about making a better experience for players. And are probably going to be focused on either making the guild larger or somehow securing, you know, the, the hold on their on the community. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't use Discord yet, haven't wrapped my mind around it. Well, wait, wait, you haven't wrapped your mi mind around Discord? I think Discord's worthwhile. I think Discord is a, is a, you know, which just is another talking point. Like, why doesn't the developers have their own Discord? So many games have a Discord, an official Discord. But like, if you try talking about that, you're gonna get the fanboys. Immediately try bringing up all kinds of points like, uh, like a Discord needs to be moderated and blah, blah, blah. Except that Discord makes it really, really easy for game developers to have their official Discord, like their their online community. Discord actually encourages uh, mod maker, uh, not mod makers, game developers to, you know, to have their, to have their Discord. Their discord.gg slash scrap mechanic can be a thing super easy. So it's kind of strange how um, the developers don't want it. If anything, they're avoiding it, which is, uh, like, again, very, very strange because technically uh, Scrap Mechanic is even on Facebook. Like, <laughs> out of all the platforms to be on, not Discord, but Facebook. Very strange. It's mostly just about... Hold on a second. It's mostly just about uh, modding and helping and complaining about copyright every month or two. I don't know what the guild would have to complain about with copyright. But like... Okay, yeah, so like a lot of people uh, confuse the, the website that I was making to be like for players. It's technically for mod makers too. It's technically for the developers too. It's... Uh, it's like I spent a lot of time and effort, just like I did with the with the with the mod pack number logic stuff. I spent a lot of time and effort actually putting into design to to solve a lot of problems for the game called Scrap Mechanic. Um, so like the website was also supposed to solve some of those problems for mod makers, right? Like the complaints that you're hearing about copyright wouldn't be an issue on a web on, on a platform that was designed to handle those problems. All right, all right. All right, finally. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Alright, give me a sec. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta take a bathroom break. Jeez, we've been going at this an hour and a half and I haven't even gotten... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the next area.
Okay, I'm back. So yeah, uh, uh, Blue Flame, part of the issue with, uh, like, the, the copyrights with the mod pack or whatever is basically just comes down to, um, a, a contributor thinking that they have ownership rights over a mod that wasn't even theirs. They would not, like, just because, uh, uh, just because they wrote the scripts for the mod, they somehow are under the impression that they own the mod. And so then a conversation would come up about what the mod should be, like, as if they had ownership over it. But, like, this is all under the, the, oh my gosh, the situation where they wouldn't have even wrote the script in the first place if I personally didn't explain how the script was supposed to be. And uh, I think, like, one of the, the main arguments, like, against this is going to be, like, I don't know how to script, which is definitely not true. They're just hoping that that's true. But it's more about, like, the, the entire reason why there was contributors to the mod pack in the first place was just to get more done in less time. Uh, like, distribute the workload and get talented people to actually do the parts that they're good at. I mean, I can do it all myself, it's just that, like, why, why would I? When there's a, a much better way to do things, you know? But in terms of, uh, like, design, there's very few parts in the mod pack were designed by the, the contributors. Most of the parts are my design. In a legal sense, I think you would own the product as you hired them to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, like I tried to explain earlier, like, you can't be hired by Microsoft to work on, uh, one of their programs. Right? Like, you can be a- you, you can even be a single programmer and make the entire program that Microsoft hires you to make. But that doesn't give you ownership over that. And if you tried to do anything with that, the program that you wrote, then Microsoft would sue you for everything that you own, because... It's theirs, it's not yours. The main argument against it was that the code they provided was theirs because there was no license. Uh, Blue Flame, that's absolutely... Okay. There doesn't have to be a license for it to be a legal issue. It's be the, the legal, it, the most... The mo- the- probably the biggest piece of evidence towards there not having to be a license is the fact that I've paid them to write the code. I- like, I- I still have the- the legal- the- what is it, the- Like, I still have record of the transaction that happened. And the reasons for it. Even- look, I don't think- I don't think you guys understand, even if there wasn't any sort of transaction or license, it still doesn't justify making their Steam Workshop an incredibly toxic place for mod makers. Like, it, think about new players that are trying to get into the game and thinking about, okay, I'm gonna be a mod maker, that working with other people is not an option because they have to consider the, the risks with dealing with other people randomly trying to steal your mod all of a sudden because they contributed a part of it. You understand how that's ridiculous? Like, it's just not worth it to get into this game because of something like that. So like, there, there's really no justification or argument for what the guild is doing to the mod pack to pretend like it's a good thing for the game. It's literally just them getting high on somebody else's mod because it was the most popular mod in the game. But, like, why can't they just design a better mod, a more popular mod? Why are they so dependent on my designs? Like, that should be a more obvious argument about what's going on there. Oh, shoot!
I came back into the game to create derf challenges. Yeah, yeah, Spyro, like, that's, that's... I just started focusing on playing challenge mode and, like, playing stuff that people created, because, like, there's no point in, uh, in me spending my time to try to create mods anymore. There's no point in a lot of stuff that I was, that I had planned for, you know, to have fun with the game. Because, like, a lot of that fun's just gone. And, um, trying to talk to the developers about their own game and their own game's community, they, they got toxic themselves. The developers of the game got very childish and toxic themselves. So, like, the conclusion is that the developers prefer their modding community to be like the guild. They prefer people to to be like that instead. It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Axolot's making all of the wrong decisions for their game. And that shouldn't be interpreted as hate or an insult. It's just pretty much fact. Like, it, it, <laughs> things could be a lot better and would result in more players having an interest in Scrap Mechanic if things were different. I mean, that's sort of the reason why... I, I tried to explain it before, like, that's sort of the reason why my focus for creating mods was... ...the reasons why players have fun with the game. And not, like... I can't wrap my head around what... ...the guild even thinks about the mod pack. Like, why... Why... ...isn't there a possibility in their head to design something better than the mod pack. Why do they think that they have to have the mod pack parts? And it's, it, 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 like, it's not just because they wrote the scripts for that. Why can't they just design better parts? Why can't they design new parts? Clearly, the work that went into the parts to actually create the ideas for them, they can't do themselves. It's, <laughs> it, it, like, uh, there's a reason why everyone has their different position in a team to create the best product possible. And basically, I was the, 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 the director of the mod pack. Like, I was the designer that made sure things were as good as they can be. Which kind of... Like, that's why I was saying, like, they, 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 they probably had some weird feeling... Uh, like, like about, uh, like about a hierarchy or something like that, so. They probably didn't want to feel like that. But, like, it's not going to magically grant them the ability to come up with good designs, you know? And I even tried to, you know, help them understand- oh my gosh. I even tried to help them understand, like, when they were still working on the actual mod pack. Like, why, why I would say something had to be one way and not another way. Oh my gosh, I'm literally at the start of the game. Somehow I feel like they thought it was an open source project or something. No, 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 Blue Flame. That's literally, okay, that's something, that's part of the propaganda. That's, at this point, that's just a part of the propaganda when they take somebody else's mod and re-upload it under the guise of it being open source and anybody can contribute it to, uh, to it now. That's just an argument that they're making to make it seem like what they did is a good thing, ultimately. Even though they can't do that, like even though it's not actually open source because you have to contribute to what is ultimately their GitHub. So like, technically speaking, you can fork the GitHub and pretend like you're doing something, but like, not actually, because it still has to get through their approval. And all of that, all of that whole, now it's open source and anyone can contribute to it thing, all of that is a political argument against uh, the website, the scrapmechanicmods.com website design that I tried to explain to them before the actual uh, mod pack issues. Because, like, like I was trying to explain earlier in the, in, in the stream today, if it's a database of parts, and uh, people can... Like, technically speaking, you don't even have to create anything for the part if you just come up with the idea. 
that's te that's I mean ultimately you should like you, you can you would have the ability to create the scripts the the textures and the model all for your part but also people could contribute to those things those assets to your part and on that platform it's more open source than the Steam Workshop in the sense that somebody could try to like create a better 3D model uh, for, for, for the part and then the person that's actually in charge of the part overall like the designer would be able to choose between multiple 3D models and pick the best one the best one that fits the design so like in that sense it is more open source than the Steam Workshop. Uh, so like I feel like that's the entire reason why they even did the whole thing like oh now it's open source like now anyone can contribute to it like that's not oh my gosh. It feels like that's the entire reason why they even tried to make that argument like now it's a it's secretly a better thing even though it's it's technically not it's no different actually but it was just it, like it's all surrounding around the idea that uh, they wanted to fight the upcoming uh scrap mechanic mods workshop Oh my gosh. A lot of people also don't understand. I wish you had a face cam. Hold on, let me turn on the face cam. All right. A lot of people also don't understand like this is something that I that I do with games. Um like uh the game that I was playing before Scrap Mechanic, I also created lots of tools for uh, like map editors and like a, like websites and stuff to, to, to make like a map generator. It's kind of hard to explain without talking about the game itself. But there's no point in talking about the game, especially since like I, I'd ultimately be promoting the game, even though like I, I technically don't want to promote that game because <laughs> uh, sort of the same thing happened where I, I guess I flew too close to the sun, and the developers of that game really didn't like how popular my stuff was getting, so... Same sort of thing. Eventually, games get kind of political. But yeah, I've definitely done this sort of thing before, where like I make map editors and, and generators and stuff for the game. I make tools just to make the player experience better. And I mean, usually, oh my gosh, usually people, like the developers of the game, um, enjoy that sort of thing. So yeah, when you're asking like, what game am I gonna do that for next? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'd have to find it. I'd have to find it. Because, like, a lot of it is just about seeing the opportunity there to even do that. Which, I guess, comes from the shortcomings of Axolot. Like, the if Axolot was doing everything perfectly, then the opportunity wouldn't be there. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> one more time, and then I, I I might just move on to another game here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Sad frog sounds. I know, right? 
Just And for me, the mod pack is just stock scrap mechanic. Oh, wait, wait, what were you saying? The, the problem is that scrap mechanic is dumb and blocks and parts can't even made custom craft without some mods. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so that sort of, like, goes in line with what I was saying. If, uh, if Scrap Mechanic was already doing everything perfectly, then there wouldn't even be a need to make mods in the game. Um, so... How are you, how is anyone supposed to have that conversation with the developers of the game if... If they're basically delusional and don't want to have that conversation? Yeah. It's kind of frustrating... And then, like, how popular the mods became seemed to have, like, corrupted the way that the developers think about their own game. So, right now, a, a big selling point is all of the mod support that they're adding to Scrap Mechanic. Like, whoa, we're, you know, now you can make mods, but, like, that's not the point. That's definitely not the point. Ah. <sighs> And that, that's more or less why I've just been saying, like, Axelot just needs to get a Discord. Like, any, any conversation about how they can improve their designs would be an improvement to the game overall. And, like, how, it's weird, it's weird that they're even insulted by the, like, how dare you think that, you know, you can know more about my game. And, like, that's not at all what I'm saying. I've just been doing this whole design thing for, like, over a decade. I, I know how to design a solution to problems. In the most, like, I know how to design something in the, uh, for, like, a very complex system, like how number logic can apply to so many different things. Like, you can build an infinite number of things with the number logic stuff. And that was because of the design work that went into it. Like, there's no other way to say it other than that, um... Anybody else in the modding community could have made the, the next big mod as soon as uh, scripting was added to the game, but, like, there's a reason why nobody else did. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, we're done with this game. How do I leave? It says escape to quit game or open menu. How do I leave? <laughs> I can't, okay, whatever. Exit full screen, click out of the game. There we go. Yeah, so like, you, you said that nobody uh, make the sequel of the mod pack, but the mod pack has added the base of the logic, so I never played this game without the mod pack. I don't, uh... I mean, I don't know what, uh... I don't know what the developers are doing with this game. Let's, uh, switch things up. We're going to be playing this game called uh, Drifter King Online. Okay. 
just had to change up the uh, uh, the, the, the the stream info. Let's start up Drifter King. Okay, never played this before. Let's see what it's like. Is this, uh, okay, I can play with the controller, it seems. Everything's locked except for the first car. Let's just go with this. I have no idea how to even control this. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> I started in reverse. Apparently, it's left trigger to accelerate and not right trigger? What? So this is, oh my gosh, this is a very, very drifty game. But uh, you can sort of see what's going on here. It's, oh my god. It's just all about the drift. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm losing this horribly. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> just when I thought I was catching up. How are you supposed to take such a tight corner? Hold on a second, hold on a second. Why can't... Why can't I... What? Oh my god, some of the controls are... I can't even edit the controls? Quality very low, what? Ultra. All right, I guess, uh, can I play with, okay, it seems like I can play with the uh, arrow keys. I think that might be much better. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was a single lap. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the arrow keys are controlling very differently. Couple cars spun out. Oh. So this is like another skill-based game. Why is it, what's all the skill-based games I'm playing lately? Like, this is another one where I feel like if you just get really, really good at this, it would be amazing to play. Okay, I finally got ahead of one car. Oh, oh, tight turn, tight turn. Can't I just, like, drive on the grass and do better? Or is it all just about the, the drift, the points... I see the point counter on the top. Oh, what a nice, satisfying drift. Lost, lost a lot of speed, though. Oh! Yeah, okay, ruined the combo. No more points to get. Oh, my gosh.
I don't know, I'm back to the controller because I think the control stick is a little bit uh, better. For like super precise controls. Oh my god. <laughs> Just saw some weird flash on the screen. Still a little bit glitchy. So wait, then what's preventing me from just like doing a donut? Like a burnout. Other than there like not really being enough space to do that, but like what's... As soon as I get back to the start, yeah, I see there's a parking lot there. Hmm, I don't know if there's enough space here. Oh, well, so much for that. Do I get anything for coming in last? What the heck is happening with this menu? The... <laughs> <laughs> the arrow oh my god this is kind of a a super glitchy game what is happening i can't even go back to the race that i the only race that i have unlocked i have 300 dollars maybe i got to click but that the arrow keys control both the menu and the music at the same time all right Okay, okay, so I see that there's two uh, regimes. You can drift or race. I mean, this seemed like it was going to be a pretty fun game. Let's, uh, let's play online. There's no, no, nobody's playing. Well, go figure. <laughs> go figure, huh? You steer back too late. Dude, if you could play this and, and feel it for yourself. Power, control, mass. Power and mass, less control. This has the most control. Wait, I can play as this? This has the most control. Why does it, why do I have this car unlocked? If it's so good. This is pretty cool though, the selection that they have. Like this this is another game that has like a lot of potential to be a really awesome game. It just needs a little bit of polish, you know, to actually work right. Okay, okay, very sensitive on the drift. That's where all the control is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to I need to do my drifting on the road. Oh smash. Dude, I'm also doing this incredibly fast. Oh my gosh. So basically, oh my gosh. Hey, thanks for helping me keep my combo. Basically, you drive sideways in this game. What? Butts creature zero? I didn't, I didn't, oh, that didn't count? No, I gotta restart. Oh my god, I couldn't, okay, I'm, I'm restarting again. <laughs> Touching that other car really ruined it for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. More control might actually be a bad thing. But uh, controlling with a thumbstick, I think, really helps to sort of compensate for... Okay, okay, I'm understanding how the combo thing actually works. I have to successfully stop my drift. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's just go back there. 
wrong direction. Is this not a drift? Dude, people already get 40,000 likes. I have to be going fast enough for the drift to count. I mean, I'm, I've clearly lost this one, but... Can't hit the walls. Okay, that one counted. But it just it, it stopped pretty quick. Doing it on the grass doesn't seem to count. Hmm. Okay, you can't just spin around, it seems. Or it's probably much more worthwhile to, uh... Wrong direction cancels drift. Yeah, it seems like, uh, seems like there's no real way to break the, the scoring system here. And since this isn't a race, it's more about control than anything else. You don't have to do it so fast. Oh my gosh. So it's better to... Yeah, better to... Oh my god, stop. Ah! <laughs> See, online this would be pretty fun. But yeah, sometimes it's better to just stop the drift than to try to keep the combo. Because you might lose the entire combo. Kind of like that uh, Skatebird game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop this. Stop this combo. Get it? Get it? There we go. R one point before 20,000. I don't know, that was all. That was just chance. Pretty lucky. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a feel for it, too. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Sophia. Ah. Oh. Dude, their points are going to jump like crazy soon. Oh, that was close. Technically, you can just, like, go wiggle back and forth and... Uh-oh. Lost all of that. Dude, William with the 83,000. What? Oh, my God. You can't hit the wall at all. How do you how do you get the multiplier up? Oh, I'm seeing okay, I, I see the multiplier like builds up. You have to do a, a really long drift. Oh, come on, you can't even graze the wall. Yeah, but okay. Alright, so the multiplier builds up if you're drifting in the same direction. For for the entire Oh, for the entire time it builds up. Dude, I'm doing terribly, but not quite as terribly as Mason. Okay, so maybe speed, like, isn't actually a good thing. What happened? Why did I spin out? I was steering the opposite direction. Dude, maybe this car is a little bit too fast. Oh, that car ruined me. So, like, maybe a slower car might actually be better because it, it would give more opportunity to actually build up multiplier because I think the all right third place plus six hundred dollars
I don't even know how much... Oh my god, why... Why is this so <laughs> awful to control on the menu? Price $2,000 for the next race. That's kind of a lot, considering I'm not making anything. And I also want to be able to afford a car. Price $3,000, though. Jeez. Jeez, look at these cars. Why is it so expensive? Fifty thousand for a fire truck. The Batmobile is pretty cool. All right, well let's go back with this car. Got plenty of control. Power and mass, not so much. That might be a good thing. Let's try it. Now that I have a little bit of practice. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, two times multiplier. Oh, the fire truck's in here. Three times multiplier. Do not, do not crash into the wall. Don't push me into the wall. Gosh, it's a lot better to just take that than to crash th into the wall and lose it all. Oh my god. Okay, so I, I see how it has less power and less uh, less control too. This is kind of weird. Like, is it supposed to be more difficult or is this supposed to be an easier car to drive? I don't know. This is one of those games where I, I like I have questions for the design because like I'm just starting it and it's supposed to be easy, right? Or is there like a learning curve that I'm just not getting? Oh my god! Because like if I pay fifty-six thousand dollars for for the uh, for the fire truck there, is that um? Is that going to be an easier car to drift with? Oh, you got to be kidding me, stupid fire truck. Because, like, why would it be easier only later in the game? Oh! That's a good drift. There we go, get a three times multiplier. Oh, oh, so close to four times. So close. No, don't lose it. Ah, oh, shoot. God, God darn it. Darn ding darn ding do. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, all right. That built up quite a quite a chunk of points. Uh oh! No! 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 Oh my God! Oh, we could not get the three times multiplier. There it is. There it is. Three times. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna cut my losses here. Oh my god! Just take the points. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh man. They definitely had the potential to shove me into the wall there. Okay, so it's definitely worthwhile to, like, especially if you're in drift mode, not not try to go so fast. As a matter of fact, get the other cars out of your way. Let them go ahead. Is that three laps? Alright. What'd I get? 
second place this time. Plus nine hundred dollars. I like how it counts up to three instead of down. Wait, I, I, I haven't even been paying attention. Do I keep my money if I restart? I'm gonna assume yes. It does count up. Weird. Cheat engine could fix that money problem. Yeah, yeah, probably. Project Arithmia? is uh, my suggestion for our next game. I'd have to search it up. I'd have to see what that even is. So yeah, to finish with the scrap mechanic debate, as a Nintendo fan, it's so frustrating to see a game that would... G-O-T-Y? I don't know what that stands for. If the devs and staff would hear more the community suggestions. I'm not sure if that's actually the issue with... Um, like, th this is probably where a lot of the people have the association with what I'm saying about the, like, Axelot's decision-making as an insult or, like, hate on the developers. Um, even if you can suggest as many number of things as you want, Axelot's probably going to be doing it wrong. They don't have, they don't actually have any good designers. This, um, oh, game of the year, I see, I see, okay. But yeah, that sort of just goes back to, like, what I was saying about the work that I actually put into... The, like, the reason why the mod pack parts are very popular with players. Or, like, the reason why the Scrap Mechanic Mods website would actually be a good thing for players. And ultimately the game itself. Is because of the work that goes into the design. To make it... Like, that's, that's the thing that makes it good. Um, so, like... Ultimately, that's always been the problem with uh, the way that Axelot does things, is that they don't actually... Like, they can listen to their community and get all the suggestions that they want, uh, but they don't have... They don't have design. They really don't. It's one of the worst designs game... One of the worst designed games I've ever played is Scrap Mechanic, and that's also the reason why I personally have the opportunity to make these things to make the player experience better. Like, it's the entire reason why I even have the opportunity to make mods for the game. Except na now that I don't, because they're fighting that every every step of the way. But, like, politics aside, the entire reason why I even have the opportunity to make mods is because of the poor design of the game. So, if Axelot had somebody on their team that has the skills to actually create good design, then they could take any idea, any suggestion, and implement it better. They they, they could implement it as, as best as it could be. So like a lot of the a lot of the reasons why I'm saying like that Axelot should you know have some kind of official Discord is for the for their sake. Like the game that they have in their head, um the game that they want to make, they can make, like, I can help them make their game better just with good design. And they, it doesn't have to be something, like, uh, it just, it just sort of, like, it's all sort of the same problem in the end. Kind of like how a mod pack contributor can think to themselves that a designer isn't necessary <laughs> and that somehow just the act of writing a script is what makes a good mod or like the act of just making a good 3D model is what makes a good mod. That's not going to that's that's not what makes a mod popular or like useful or fun to players, you know. Why Satisfactory is a good game because they listen to players? Yeah, yeah, but like the being able to implement the stuff that players tell them is part of the equation there. Intimate instruments of destruction 2 the devs are watching the videos and listening That's something that, like I tried that game once uh, I Don't think it really did too well on my channel, but like same with any game that I try for the first time even this one I kind of suck at the games that I try for the very first time so 
maybe if I get a little bit better at uh, some of those other games, then uh, then I'd have some videos to, to make. But then again, like that's that's also something that's. I just need to be more entertaining. I don't actually have to be good at any game that I play. Ah, take that, copper. I wonder. I wonder if that car is gonna stay stuck on its side the entire time. Oh, never mind. It's not. Okay, but I got a three times multiplier. That's good. Four times multiplier. Now I just want to build up my points. Five times multiplier. Dude, the multiplier is everything in this game. Six times? Six times? Oh, not quite. Oh my god, don't hit the wall. Six times. I'm taking it. There we go. Wait, only 35,000? What? Why do I feel like I got cheated on that? Six times. I, I should be at least 60,000. What happened? Dude, so, somebody needs to go back and do the math on that. Like, I, I had points and a multiplier. What? Oh, shoot. Like, I was definitely cheated out of my points there. I was definitely over 9,000. Multiplier multiplies the gained score, not the score you already have. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I was saying. The the score at the top. I had I'm pretty sure I had over nine thousand. Like the blue number at the top. I'm pretty sure I had over nine thousand, and the multiplier was uh, at least six. Oh my god. Also, I think, uh, you know, I'm just gonna restart the race. I think my position is what gets me money. So if everybody in the race does well or does horribly, ultimately decides how much money I get. Oh, that's a tasty drift. There we go. There we go. Really build up that multiplier. Four. Five. Okay, see, five times multiplier, 15,000. 17,000. Oh my gosh. Just take the points. Five times 25. Was it not... Wait, wait, maybe I'm thinking of it wrong. Was I 2,500 or 25,000? Wait, what? Yeah, what? That's not the points that I should have gotten. Thirty-two thousand divided by two is fifteen thousand which is pretty much the, the, the score that I had. But like, it, there should have been like a, a five times multiplier on that. See, 15,000 times three. 000. Somehow is the total score that I got. What? 
I had 32,000. Where? It's not. Bleh. 10,000 points with five times the multiplier is still 10,000 points? Yeah, that's what I'm like. The, the multiplier doesn't do anything. What is happening here? Wrong direction, my butt. This. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't matter as long as I finish. Oh my gosh. As long as I finish in first place on the leaderboard, that's going to give me the most money. Oh, barely saved that. Something funky is going on with that math, though. See, four, four times 10,000 should be 40,000 added onto my score, right? Ah, oh, never mind, it's zero. This game needs a lot more polish, it seems. Yeah, like this, this is another game that has like a lot of potential. Um, this would be a game that doesn't, unlike, unlike what I was saying about Scrap Mechanic, like, um, this, the design of this game's all right. This, the, this game doesn't need a, a designer. It needs just like somebody that knows what they're doing when they're actually programming a game. Because like there's still some glitches that I see. I'm not sure if the math is working correctly. Overall, it does need a bit of polish, but like I don't think it needs any design changes or anything like that. This game looks like it's gonna be very fun. Sixty-nine thousand, heck yeah! Plus a thousand. Wait, what? Plus a thousand only? Oh wait, what? How does the scoring work in this game? Total score, best score, race time, and distance. Maybe all of those are a component of the money that I get. Ugh. It multiplies the gain. You gain X points over seconds drifting. Wait, what? Increases how fast you gain the points. Oh, oh, okay, that's that's a lot. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, Blue Flame <laughs> also <laughs> was yelling it in the chat. <laughs> uh, all right, I might have enough money for like something else, but I, I want to try this one more time. Thanks for the little boost. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, nice, satisfying drift. Oh, no, no. I just have to take those points because there was nothing I could have done to save that. But it's this is definitely one of those games where, like I said, like it doesn't actually need any uh, design changes. It could be very satisfying to... Oh. Just, just uh, like master this uh, drifting mechanic. So then, so then, so then. Ah, oh, that's see, that's why I was. Oh, all right. Well, that's why I was wondering if you can just like uh, do donuts. Let's try it right here. No, no, that just cut the combo as soon as I touched the grass. too fast. And it's definitely worthwhile to do like a little uh, zigzag back and forth. Oh, I thought I had it. This is one of the best corners in this track. Whoop. Thanks for the boost. That was actually kind of very helpful. Don't boost me anymore, please. Oh, very satisfying. 
but like online I can see how this is gonna be a lot of fun messing people up don't need there you go times six all right I'm understanding I'm understanding oh my god no 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 I thought I thought that was the end of the race so that's why I just sort of like gunned it through the finish. <laughs> oh man, all of those points. Dude, I would have been first place. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, the shame. Okay, okay, nice times two. Times five. There's the times five. And then I ruined it. All right, so yeah, because I didn't really understand the mechanics, kind of ruined it for me. Plus 700. I guess let's uh, let's exit and see what we can do with this. Solo. Um, I have three thousand five hundred, so I can get this other track. Do I gotta pay two thousand? For each regime? Let's try the race game mode. I'm not even gonna buy anything yet. Cause I have this car. Yeah, I can't afford anything useful it seems. Need to take first place on the track. Race track drift. Okay, so I unlock this just by getting first place. Huh. All right, well, let's try the uh, try the race mode. See how that does. So drifting doesn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot how much control this car has. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This doesn't even feel like it did before, dude. The ambulances. Oh my god! This ambulance is going crazy though. They're, yeah, drifting literally doesn't matter. Dude, it, does the game mechanics change based on racing or what? Like, I can just cut this corner, cut this corner, cut these corners. Just bounce off all the walls. That was a nice drift, though. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> I, like, I can't tell if the, the game mechanics actually change or this car is just that different. Got him. Oh my god. Dude, this ambulance is crazy. Or is it like a money truck? Okay, maybe maybe when I get to that section with like all the, the crazy wide turns, I can cut in front of this ambulance truck thing. How's it doing so well? Oh my god, this car's control is kind of annoying. 
Yeah, this was the section I was talking about. Oh, yes. Okay, cut in front of it. Don't lose control. To the finish, let's go. Don't even try it. <laughs> oh my gosh, sneaking up on me. That was Emma. Emma B. What is a B? I don't know, but whoa, 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 whoa. I got $2,000 from that? What? So I can just like uh, play this race over and over again and rack up the cash. Interesting. All right, well, what uh, what should we purchase? Do you think uh, 2,000, price 2,000 per track it seems. Any track, any track is $2,000. Let's select this same racetrack. Let's see what car we can buy. Not... Lots of power. Not enough control. This might be the car, though. To race, because this one had way too much control. B for bot. Oh, okay. $65,000. Timer? What? Controls all the way up, powers all the way up. There must be like some kind of play, like mechanic between uh, control and power that I'm not understanding. Like maybe they play into each other a little bit. So if I go... Let's do another uh, race, I guess, and try to get this car. Lots of power, but not a lot of control. So, like, it might be... It might be really fast. I don't know if control means it's turn speed. Oh, you can change color. Oh, I guess not. Green. Purple. Red. Red is the color of a race car. Alright, are we doing racing, or...? Drifting, I, I kind of don't... Okay, well, yeah, we're doing races. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Nope, can't, uh, can't put it in a tailspin. Just take it slow, cut the corner. Cut all of this. <laughs> I don't know why you're allowed to do this in the race. All right. Good thing I'm not having to, uh, to race that ambulance. I can actually get first place this time. Easy. It easy. But this feels very different from the drifting. Like it feels like the game mode has some sort of effect on how the how the cars perform. Like I can't even spin out even if I wanted to, it feels like. Which is kind of strange. Kind of very strange how the player of the game doesn't oh my god, wouldn't be able to It just feels so different. It's a pretty chill game, though, I gotta say. Oh, and it seems like it would be very fun. Like, it does have an online mode, there's just no one on it. But uh, it seems like it would be very fun to... You know, you're, you're in a race where you're trying to drift a combo and... BAM! Somebody just... Hits you and ruins everything. Like, there's totally gonna be some trolls and... Ah! Not you. Oh my god. Do not even try to break. 
kills all momentum. All right, two thousand dollars. That's <laughs> kind of easy if you want to make money. All right, so let's go get that car. Um, I guess we'll do it in drift mode. This one, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye. Still just with the one color? Oh, I can spin around. I can spin around. All right, let's try out our new car. Hey, I'm racing a clone of myself. Oh, has a little bit of a slow start. Dude, drift mode is so drifty. Oh, stupid, you know, green car, just go ahead of me. Just get out of here. Give me the room that I need to, to drift at my leisure. I'm not racing you guys, so. This car has very poor acceleration though. But like, man, is it ever fast, oh my god. Okay, this is this is crazy. I'm not All right, all right, all right Yeah, it has crazy acceleration. Let's actually get out of here Dude the controller doesn't even work for the uh, like half the menu options Let's do race mode instead with that car Because it has crazy good acceleration, and the mechanics are different in the game, right? So, this feels much better than the overly controlling car. And this car is fast, too. Yeah, this is an easy car for race mode. And it also has a lot of mass, so I can bu <laughs> bully cars. See that car? <laughs> <laughs> From first place to last place. Urgh. Oh my god, such a bully. Oh. Oh, such a bully. <laughs> oh, this is the car I would be racing online with. Oh, tit. Just took the turn too easy. Dude, it's like this car was built for this track. In race mode, anyway. You can't spin out. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, that's one thing that I don't really like, though, about this game is how the, there's different mechanics for race mode and drift mode. Uh, it just like it came as like a huge surprise when I switched the mode. Feels very different. Whoops! Oops! Oops! There's also no music. Oops. go cut these corners I'm not even sure how much ahead I am of the other cars feels like a lot though nine seconds ahead of second place two thousand dollars though wait why does the race time did I was I actually slower than than, than the record that I have for this, or what? Why does it say plus 260? I don't know, but that's definitely a way to pile up a lot of cash. All right, well, maybe take a look at, because uh, I can afford any racetrack now. 
Night Mountains. Port. Winter Port. Oh, there's a winter. That's going to be really slip, slip slidey. Desert Race. Desert Speedway. Oh. Wait, what? Speed? You can't even... You can't even drift on the speedway? Darn it! I... Ah! Ah, ah my heart! I want to be able to do an infinite drift on the speedway. <laughs> uh, how to become fire truck step one, start a fire step two, <laughs> wait for the fire department to come. Step three, change your body parts for the fire truck parts. What? Just become an Autobot and roll out. I'm gonna I'm gonna waste my money on this. And then go just for the fastest. That's this guy. Oh man. That's not good. Or is it? What's up with my camera right now? <laughs> What's up with the camera right now? But yeah, I can see why there's like no uh, drift mode. What's up with the camera right now? Is it because I'm going so fast? Oh my god. But yeah, this is one of those uh, race tracks where you don't even need to steer. You just hold down the accelerator. And if your car is good enough, you just get first place. Dude, I can't even see my car right now. <laughs> what is going on? I, I'm like, I'm pressing other buttons on my controller and it doesn't seem to do anything to, to help the camera issue. I seem to be doing alright though. I have enough of a lead to not have to worry about the, the, all those wall touches. Dude, what? I Wait, what? I... The, the race ended before I actually crossed the crossed the, the finish line. Only a thousand dollars? Twenty-seven seconds ahead of the bot. Dude, what? Huh <laughs> what? Alright, well I'm not sure if that's actually worth it. Um yeah, for, for the time spent, I don't know. I can afford another track. Wait, what? Night Mountains is also race, but not drift. Five laps, three laps, ten laps. I guess let's try this. And we'll just go with the with the ghoul. I have no idea which way I'm even supposed to be going. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so if you use another oh my gosh, if you use another car for cushion, I see why. I see why this is 10 laps. What, am I not, am I not allowed to? What's happening with the audio?
dude, this is so difficult. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Can you guys let me drive, please? But yeah, using another car for, uh, for like, padding, oh my gosh, will help you keep your combo. Yeah, there's see okay, you can't you gotta stay outside of the outside of the parking lot lights. If there was a car that was like you 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 can't just do the the single drift like I'm trying to do. And you can't just like start a huge donut from outside and then trigger the checkpoint. That would be pretty amazing, though. If there was a car that, like, did that perfectly for this track, I would totally use it. But this car is a little, uh, this track is a little bit too square. Anyway, what's happening with the menu? Gosh darn it. I gotta use my mouse. Whew. Enable AI. What? What does that do? Those settings weren't there before. Well, anyway, that's that's it for that game, and I think that's gonna be it for today's stream. I that <laughs> tried a couple of games today that were a little bit uh, lower quality. I think. It, 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 yeah. I mean, they, I can definitely see how they're fun. The slime frog game. Very similar to uh, a lot of like, w what's the category that you would put uh, getting over it into? Like it's a skill-based sort of like frustrating game. I don't know how to how to say it. like what's the one word that makes people understand exactly what that type of game is. But like there's lots of different types of games. Uh, even before getting over it was popularized. But anyway, that's uh, we tried a couple of those games today. And, well, I think that was actually just the one game. Slime Frog could could be pretty fun. Maybe check it out on the Steam Store. I think it's, like, a really cheap game if you, uh, you know, want to try it out. This Drifter King Online, I'm not so sure about. Skill-based Climber? Yeah, I guess uh, that's what, like, Pogo Stuck is. Will you play Challenge Mode again in the future? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Uh, pr probably. Again, like the, there's still an issue with like the me playing the new version of Scrap Mechanic, so I'm not sure if uh, I don't know how, I don't know how long Scrap Mechanic's gonna last on this channel. It's not looking too good though. To also answer all of the questions that people had about like the development of the website and stuff. If you're in my Discord, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna ask for your input if you guys think it's even worth it to continue developing the website and mods for the game. So, like, join my Discord and stuff like that. I do want to play uh, some Scrap Mechanic with channel members. Getting over it as a rage game. Maybe, yeah, is that the is that the category title? I don't know. But anyway, to, to I guess, better answer your question, Spyro, I would rather spend the time playing with my channel members a little something something that I'm trying to cook up with scrap mechanic than just play challenge mode all the time not that challenge mode isn't fun but I I, I want to do something with my channel members is there a, a stream schedule anymore all streams I've seen so far have been in the middle of the night um if it's the middle of the night for you, then you're on the opposite side of the planet. Because, like, I... For me, I do them in the afternoon. Right now, it's, uh... 7 p.m. for me, so... If you're on the opposite side of the pl That's strange. A couple days ago, I did a stream, like, six hours earlier than 
today, so I have no idea. 1 a.m.? It's 1 a.m. for you right now. What? Dude, you're literally an entire six hours ahead. I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's ever going to be a stream that I do. I'd have to do my streams, like, early in the morning for them to be in the day, in the daytime for you, but... Hey, for the for the live streams that you can like, uh, you can rewatch the live stream vod. One ten in Germany, like, dude, what? <laughs> well, you can rewatch the live stream vods, um, for the ones that are available, or you got to be a channel member to get access to the ones that are not available. Some of them, some of them, you got to be a channel member for, but you should be able to watch them like. You know, within, uh, you know, even if I streamed it last week, you should still be able to watch it, so. Even if it's not live, I think you should, I think you can still watch it. <laughs> hey, Yorit, 200, member for 22 months. Now that's some, uh, what's the word, patriotism? Not, not, not the word I was looking for, but like something like that. Gosh, I'm terrible with like pulling out the correct word a lot of the time. I know exactly with what like what I want to say in my head, but like kind of terrible with English sometimes. Also, can we do scrap mechanic together? Uh yeah, yeah, if you're a channel member, I I've got something cooking up, but like I can't I can't just play with everybody. Sorry, not sorry. That's de <laughs> that turns out pretty bad a lot of the time. I used to do a thing where like um, like, I try to get as many people into my scrap mechanic game as I can, and, um, even trying to do that, like, just people join your game and then do nothing, just literally be in the game, do nothing, people can't do that. There's always going to be some portion of people that will spawn in something that crashes the game or lags people or, you know, starts messing with the entire point of it, so, uh, so I, you know, I've changed it to be just channel members because that helps to filter out the the trolls and people that will ruin things uh but like it's also gonna be for for like a video so like uh what i have coming up is gonna be like a mario party mini game i'm making something in scrap mechanic for us to to play around in and then channel members are gonna more or less gonna be playing it while i'm filming it so uh, yeah, and there's not really any opportunity to, like, play survival mode together either, so... I mean, I don't know. You take what you can get, I guess. There's only so much that we can do with Scrap Mechanic. Well, that won't happen for me. I can't steal my parents' credit card. You can't steal your parents' credit card, but you can steal their credit information. Sign them up for like a for like a Walmart's credit card. <laughs> don't do that. Don't don't actually do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, that's that's it for today, folks. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys next time. Maybe tomorrow. Going for this uh, streaming every day streak. Going going strong for four or five days or however much it's been. And thanks, Jorit, for for being such a good member every time. Every time? All the time. Bye!